butterfly sweep. Sometimes I see you guys doing the butterfly sweep. And uh, it's two little mistakes that you guys are making there, okay? So, I'm close to him again. Normally, like what I do here, guys, is get my hips to one side, okay? I don't like to stay square. And then I try to get my hand, get as far as I can, you know, I can go on his belt on the other side. Okay. Also, I keep my elbow up, yeah? My head on his chest. And on this side here, guys, I want to control his elbow, okay? And then on his wrist here, I squeeze with my, you know, my arm here, so it's on my arm pit. Once he's in this position here, guys, okay, I'm not going back, okay? So I'm not going back that way. Like I push his elbow in, okay? This leg here, guys, the same time I'm dropping my shoulder on the floor, I'm gonna push, look, under my leg, look, there. See my leg there, keep this strong hook, then I'll turn. Yeah. My hands on the floor, still pulling his elbow, switch the grip from the belt to the lapel here, or oh, just place your hand on the floor. Okay, now, instead of sliding up and trying to push your hips forward, okay, I'll just sit next to his hip. Okay, and we're gonna stop here. One more time. It's nice and simple guys. Look, we're sparring here. I've got you know to the position that I need here. Look. Nice and tight, needs to be tight, otherwise you're just gonna push you down and then pass your guard, okay? Now, if I'm on the butterfly here, okay, he doesn't want me to be up here, so if he's trying to pass my guard, if he's trying to fight on the butterfly, he's gonna try to push me down on my back flat on the floor, and he will start working to pass my guard, okay? That doesn't mean that he cannot pass my guard from up here, if you, if you wait here, there's few ways that you can use, okay? Pass the guard here. So even though I'm up here, he's gonna cut my, my technique. I'm trying to switch. One. I switch. One. Okay. And pass. Okay? But, but basically here, guys, if you're here, you know, just get the guys back on the floor, which is harder for, for me to move. Okay? Once I'm here now, if I control his arm, it's hard for him to defend. Okay? Remember, I'm pushing his elbow in, squeeze his wrist with your armpit. Okay? Head. Close to his body, hand goes as far as you can go, elbow, look, up, okay, drop your shoulder on the floor, this leg, you push through, all your toes, look, then pull the other side, then my knee goes across his leg, and as the knee slides, okay, when I get to this position here guys, try not to push your hips forward here, okay, you just sit next to the hip and bring your leg, okay, of course from here guys, you know, you switch your base and get side control or whatever you want to do from here, okay? But now you pass his guard. Remember, when you're passing someone's guard, you must hold him here, okay? So you get the points, three, four seconds, or until he's moving and fighting back and you secure the position properly, okay? Of course, if he's trying to move here, he's trying to push my face and trying to sit up, whatever, I can just switch and get his back to the floor. Okay? When you switch, try not to roll the guy. You keep the guy on the side here. That's no good. Not to make sure you roll him back. Shoulder against the chain. Okay? Hand. Or you could have the, the control on the, on, the, on, the, on the belt here. On the trousers. Okay? Very important to stop him to get on the hook. And if he has on the hook here, you must recover the position. React to this movement here because it's not good for me to just hold him here. Eventually he will escape. Okay? That's no good. If that happens, simple way here, near the belly, you can just recover here, okay? It's very, very big. So he has done the hook on me, boom, and I recover. And I can go back down, or he can just attack from me on the belly. One more time. It's the same, push spine here, come close here. We are just in my position here, it's kept my hips you know, to one way, so I can get you know, the grip on the belt, I can reach further. Push his elbow in and squeeze his wrist, okay? Because if I'm only holding here, I try to sweep him in, his hand is free. He's gonna place his hand on the floor. Unless I want him to do that, okay, so I can counter the movement, okay, I will do that. But otherwise, you control it. Elbow up, I'll drop, that hook strong on the leg, push my leg through, pull my toes, knees go to the floor. I sweep my grip from the belt. Here, so I have the hook up and then I sit next to his hip. Okay? Let's try.
Thanks, Daniel.